Yesterday, Intel announced their new Battlemage GPUs, starting with the Intel Arc B570 and Intel Arc B580. Thank you, kind sir. With the 12GB B580 being the first one to get released in December 13th at 249 MSRP, which is something that we haven't seen for a while, and the 10GB B570, which is supposed to be only a bit slower than the B580, for January 16th at $219 MSRP, which of course is even more impressive. And I mean, I honestly can't remember the last time that I saw some really appealing deals in the lower end of the spectrum. But these ones, these GPUs, especially the B570, I want it. But wait, because they are so much more. Intel has taken a huge step further in several aspects of their software side, like XCSS frame generation, anti-lag and a new software kit for their GPUs. And that's one of those things that will make possible buyers from the AMD and Nvidia side, well, to feel way more comfortable with these GPUs because they have all the features on the Intel, oh! on the Intel side Intel, <laughs> on the Intel side that they have on the AMD and Nvidia one, or at least most of them. The same way that you can feel comfortable with today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's start with some new Intel features. Yesterday, alongside the announcement of the new Intel Arc B570 and B580 GPUs, Intel announced their long-awaited frame generation technology. That in the video they call it kind of XCFG, but in the images that we got it says like XCSSFG, which is more relatable to the common user, I guess. Intel then proceeded to announce XC Low Latency, or XCLL, which actually sounds fine, more or less the same thing that we have on the NVIDIA Low Latency, with the NVIDIA Low Latency, and AMD Anti-Lag. And this is an in-driver solution, so it is not inside the game like Reflex and now uh, Anti-Lag 2, it is just a driver level solution, and according to Intel, according to what Intel has shown actually, it works very decently, very, very well in some titles like in F1 2024. So all you have to do is go to the new Intel software, enable XCLL and you're good to go. And before XCSS meant XE Super Sampling and Intel is now decoupling their technologies into XCSS Super Resolution, XCSS Frame Generation and XE Low Latency, with these three mixed together being XCSS 2. That will have initial support for 10 games, including Marvel Rivals, F124, Dying Light 2 and Robocop Rock City. So we have really well priced GPUs, we have things that people have been asking from Intel for years, once again frame generation, low latency mode and so on, and Intel delivered. But there's more. Intel is also bringing a new software kit to the market, and it seems like they are ditching the Intel Arc naming scheme, the same way AMD ditched the Raiden branding, and I'm not a fan of that to be honest, like the same way GeForce did, or Nvidia did with the GeForce branding, it's now just Nvidia app, but as long as they make the software better and better, yeah, I can live with it. And this is the new Intel graphics software that brings a huge overall compared to what we have right now, bringing some of the most requested features like scaling modes, scaling methods and very interesting things like the text context option that disables the display's use of its own image processing algorithms for quality enhancements. We also have tons of other options added to the graphics menu as well, some that should have been there from the beginning if I'm being honest, like the FPS limiter, the low latency mode, image sharpening and those 3D rendering settings like filtering, tessellation and so on. Intel has also massively improved the performance tuning settings, as with the older Arc software you couldn't even overclock the VRAM, something that you can now do. The frequency offset is almost, or at least it's also better done, now working in megahertz instead of percentage I believe, and Intel went even further with the advanced mode. That allows you to do a voltage to frequency curve, meaning that you can now undervolt Intel GPUs as well. Nicely done Intel. 
And of course, you also have improved metrics, now also featuring some data from Intel's present MON, which actually is a very nice tool in terms of, of monitoring like CPU, GPU, RAM and so on. We even have things that Intel present MON delivered to the market that weren't present here, like the, um, like the CPU busy, GPU busy and so on. So this is a very nice thing. And we now have those features inside the Intel graphics software, which is a big plus. And this update is supposed to be released alongside the Intel Arc B580 in mid-December, so a couple of weeks from now, and will definitely bring some market share to Intel, because if their GPUs deliver what they are supposed to, then we have these new features like frame generation, low latency mode and so on, and on top of that, we even have a new software kit with even more features at this price, they'll definitely sell. And especially the $219 B570, because I believe that that is one of the best price brackets that I've seen so far for a GPU that will perform around that. So I suppose that the GPU will be around the 6600 XT, around the same performance, but with an MSRP of $219 and of course 10 gigabytes VRAM with 160 160 bit buzz. So instead of being 128 bit buzz and only 8 gigabytes, we now have an entry level card with 10 gigabytes VRAM, which will be very, very important for, for the low to mid tier market, or at least the low to mid low tier market. And honestly, I'm really eager to test these cards. But well guys, that's all for today's video, just a short video showing you some news on the Intel new software, Intel new cards, and again, uh, I asked MSI and ASRock if they could send one of these cards, but I guess they don't have enough stock, especially for lower tier channels like mine. And when I say lower tier, I say, of course, in terms of uh, views, in terms of, of, well, yeah, mostly in terms of views, subscribers and so on. So it is obvious that the bigger channels will get the samples first. But well, uh, I live in Portugal, so we don't have many Intel cards selling, so I believe that we will have some in stock and I'll try to get one as fast as I can. And when I can do it, when I do it, I will obviously bring new tests for you. Lots of tests, gaming benchmarks, comparisons, etc, etc, etc. We'll be there. Even maybe some Intel software or Intel graphics software tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know if you're going to buy an Intel GPU or if you're thinking about buying an Intel GPU, if they actually deliver, especially for this price. And yeah, let me know all your thoughts about the new Intel presentation because I'm really eager to hear those. Thank you very much and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.